Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. So I recently got the Micro Blue Vac where I'd been using the standard Blue Vac micron gauge. And you can see that device takes up a good bit of space. And this one, the Micro Blue Vac, is a lot smaller. So I figured I would run both of them on this system just to see how they compared. So here goes. Both micron gauges woke up at about the same level, and the micro blue vac is on the outlet side. The ball valve for that one is open, so it's reading a lower microns than this one right now because we've got that valve closed. I'll switch them. That one's reading just under 600 already, and this one's at 1800 with the valve closed. We'll open it back up, let them both read what the vacuum's pulling from the tip, and let it run for a little while. But as you can see, that blue vac. The original blue vac is under 500 already, and this one's not far behind. We'll let them both run for a bit, and we'll be right back. So, one minor difference that I'm seeing at this point is that this one does the micro blue vac does not have a um, progress or leak rate indicator on it. It just shows you where your microns are. So it's a little bit simplified from the uh, original Blue Vac, which has a leak rate up in the top right corner, and it also gives you your uh, scale along the bottom. You know, the scale along the bottom to me seems kind of unnecessary. You can see your microns on the screen so why do you need a scale but the leak rate is always nice because you can tell when your vacuum is actually stalled and not making any progress um, but that one the original blue vac is at 295 296 you know stalled in that space this one's reading 264 I'm gonna valve the core tools off isolate my vacuum and see where they rise to. This one's showing 257, 256. This one shows 295, but with the indication of the leak rate, you can see that it's slowly falling. So I guess the short term or the, the quick review would be that the Micro Blue Vac is definitely affordable and compact, but there are some features that you will lose over the original Blue Vac gauge. It's got the same basic resolution. It doesn't show tenths of a micron, at least at this level. It might show tenths once it drops below 100, but very unlikely that you'll get below 100 on most systems. But I would say that at 291 on that scale, 
and 254 on this scale we're definitely good on the vacuum I'm gonna go ahead and release the charge and we'll get to starting this sucker back up again Yeah. 